Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to complete projection of perpendicular lines. So, in this case, I am going to complete the projection for this given problem statement. We have a problem. Line PQ is perpendicular to line MN. End P of a line PQ is on line MN. Complete the projections and refer the given figure. So in a figure you can see that we have a line M N like this in a front view. Again in a top view projection we have the same line somewhat like this. And with respect to that they have given point Q F in a front view and Q H in a top view projection. So in this figure they have not given dimensions. So to understand this concept I have drawn the same image over here with some convenient distances so that we can understand how to complete projection of perpendicular lines. So here I have taken length is equals to 90 mm for this line M and uh, in a front view. Again the same line I have drawn at an angle 30 degree with respect to this horizontal reference plane. In a top view projection again I have taken 30 degree inclinations and the same projections I have carried out in a downward direction so that we can have this point MF and NF over there. Now to locate this point QH I have taken 60 mm height with respect to this horizontal plane. So this is nothing but the horizontal plane. Let me name it as XY. So here we have to write x and this will be the y. So this is nothing but the x, y axis we have. And with respect to that, I have taken all those projections in a front view and top view. Now to have the projections for the line PQ perpendicular to this line MN and this point P is lying over this line MN. So already we have covered one problem based on the projection of parallel lines. In that video, I have told you that whenever we are going to solve the problems based on the projections and projections of parallel and perpendicular lines, first of all, we need to find the true length of this given projections. So in this case, we need to find true length for this line M and so these two lines are nothing but the apparent length in a front view and this is nothing but the apparent length in a top view projection. So to have a true length for this line MN, we are going to draw one auxiliary plane parallel to this line MF and F at a particular distance. Now to have that line, let me go with this copy command, select this line, press enter button specify this as a base reference point and just move your cursor at proper distance so that we can have that line over there and just press enter button. So these two lines are parallel to each other. Now let me change that line color, go with these layer options, select this projection and just hold your cursor at this end and just go with the stretch option over there. Now let me stretch that line for the length is equal to 20. Press enter button. Again, move your cursor over there at this end point. Go with the stretch option. Again, move your cursor so that we can have that inline line. So these two lines are inline now. Enter 20 m distance over there and press enter button. Again, to come out of this, just press escape. Button. Now you can see we have this auxiliary plane over here parallel to this line M, F, N, F. Now let me give naming for this. Select this point, press enter button. And here we are going to name it as a auxiliary plane X1, Y1. Like this. Now once we done with this, we have to draw a perpendicular line to this auxiliary plane x1 y1 passing through this point mf qf as well as this point nf so let's draw that line go with this line option 
select this point just move your cursor in a downward direction at a convenient length like this okay now if you just look out over the screen in a second tab we have 56 degree angle over there now we have taken line m f and f at an angle 13 over here isn't it so if we just look out the projection line starting from this point mf horizontally so this angle will become 30 degree over here at this point so this will be the 30 degree line okay so in that we have to add this 90 degree plane okay so we need to subtract 90 minus 30 degree so here we need to enter 30 degree here 60 degree inferred angle so that we can have exact perpendicular line like this Okay, now let me explain this once again. So if I just draw one horizontal line for our reference, let me select this line like this. We have 30 degree angle over here with respect to horizontal line. Okay, so the same angle we will get over here. Okay, and we need to draw a line exactly perpendicular to this x1 y1, which means that we need to make a 90 degree angle over here. So we need to subtract. 30 degree angle from this 90 degree inferred angle that's why we have taken inferred angle 60 over here okay now let me delete this now once we complete this line again go with this copy command select this line press enter button select this as a base reference point once again and turn off this ortho mode command and move your cursor over this point nf as well as over this point QF so that we can have a perpendicular lines passing through this point QF as well as this point okay. now let me delete this because we have not get this perpendicular line click this and press delete button again just go with this copy command select this line press enter button select this base reference point and center point of this line okay, press enter button so by this way we have completed a perpendicular projection starting from this point mf qf as well as point nf now we know that to have a true line for this line mn we need to measure distances in a front view projection with respect to this x y axis okay now let me measure this linear distances with respect to point n h and x y so that we have 15 again go with the linear dimension select this point as well as this point so this distance we have 59.5 so the same distances we have to project over here okay so let me change this layer option go with the line command select this as a starting point here you have to enter 59.5 okay so the same distance we have to enter over here so this distance we have 59.5 so the same distance we need to project over here okay so 59.5 again press tab button and here you have to in enter input angle 60 by this way we have this line over there again go with this line command select this starting point this will be the 15 mm length press tab button include angle 16 press enter button now we have to measure this point qh distance and that we have 60 over here with respect to x y now let me go with this line command select this as a starting point over this x1 y1 auxiliary plane and there you have to enter length is equals to 60 press tab button in code angle 60 so by this way we have completed projection for all those end points once we're done with this all the projections just join this point m and n by l line which will give us true length over here 
So just select this end point and this point. So this is nothing but the true length for the line M and like this. So this is nothing but the true length for this line M. And here we have to locate this point Q. So that we can have by means of this donut option. Okay, so just let me show you once again. Go with this drop down menu in a broad toolbar. Select this donut option. Select this inside diameter 0, outside diameter 1, enter button, and specify the center point. So this will be the center point. So just click on it. Okay, now delete the lines that we have taken for our reference. Now let me delete this line that we have taken for our reference and again delete this line as well. Let me go with this single line text, select this point, click over here, press enter button, enter, this will be the point M1. And this will be the point N1. So we have obtained true length for this line MN, and this will be the point Q1. And if we just read the given problem statement, what they have given the line PQ is perpendicular to the line MN. So to have this perpendicular line PQ over this line MN, first of all, we have to find true length for this line M and that we have completed right now and with respect to this point Q we are going to draw a perpendicular projection over this line M and so that we will have point P over this line M and okay so if we just read out the remaining problem statement the end P of a line PQ is on line M and so that we will get somewhat over here so from this point Q1, we need to draw a perpendicular line over this line M1 N1. Okay, so this will give us the point P over this line M N. Before going to draw this perpendicular line starting from this point Q1, first of all we have to check we have enabled this perpendicular object snap or not. So just type O snap over the keyboard. snap and one window will get pop up for this screen and you have to ensure that we have enabled this perpendicular option so just tick this checkbox and you have to make sure that these two checkbox are also checked while doing this setting. So just click OK button, go with this line option, select this point Q1 and move your cursor over this line MN and there you will find perpendicular point and just select that particular point by clicking once both and press escape button to move out of this selected line now you can measure the inclinations with respect to this line there you will find 90 degree angle so this is nothing but the point P that we have for this line M N. So just name it as a point P1 so we have obtained the perpendicular line PQ or this line MN to which we have true length is equals to this much from point M1 to N1. Okay, so this is the true length we have for this, and this will be the true length for this line PQ. So select this point. 
this one and this one. So we have true length for this line PQ is equal to 17.7. Now once we get this point P1 or this line MN, we need to back propagate all those projections and this point P we will get over this line MF and F which is nothing but the intersecting point. So to have that point just go with this copy command, select this line because already we have drawn this line perpendicular to this auxiliary pen x1 y1 press enter button specify the base point okay again just move your cursor so that we will get this projection somewhat over here starting from this point p like this and just click once over there let me repeat this, delete this line, go with the copy command, select this line, press enter button, select this base line, move your cursor over this point P1 and press enter button. So we have the intersecting point over this line MF and F starting from this point P1. Okay, so this is nothing but the intersecting point we have in a top view projection so let me give naming for this so this will be the point pf so just go with the trim option press enter button to get this extra projection okay now the same intersecting point we need to complete in a front view as well before that, let me join these two points, point PF and QF, by this line command. Just select it. Select this center point and this point PF. Press enter. So this is nothing but the projection in top view. Again, go with the copy command. Select this line press enter button, select this as a base point, move your cursor like this and press escape button. Again, we will find an intersecting point over this point MH, NH, go with the trim command, press enter button, trim this extra line, press escape button. Now join these two points which will give us a line P H and QH in a front view. Select these two points and just click once over there. So this will be the point PH in a front view. Just name it over here. So this is nothing but the point PH. So this is nothing but the projection of perpendicular lines. So in this case, initially we are going to obtain this true length by drawing auxiliary plane x1, y1 and we have taken distances with respect to this x, y axis. So these are the distances for the point M and point N and the same distances we have plotted over here with respect to this x1, y1 and once we get this true length, we are going to project the projection for the point Q over here. And from that point, we are going to draw a perpendicular line over this line M1 and 1, which is nothing but the point P1. Okay. And from that intersection point, we are going to complete all the back propagations so that we will have the intersecting points over this line MF and F. And once we obtain that intersecting point, we have joined these two points by a straight line. So this is all about the projection of perpendicular lines and once we are done with this you can measure these front view distances as well as the top